Hello everyone. My name is Vishal and in this short tutorial I am going to tell you how to check the duplicacy of your serial key. So for it the very first step is to go to coral.com. Inside this go to sign in. And now you need to sign in to your account. You must have registered from coral.com. If you have registered you can quickly sign in with your registered email address and password. Once you are registered you will find an option which says product status and subscription when you click over here you will see what all products you have been registered with coral draw it will all get displayed over here now as you can see it is showing you the installation number so installation one that means this particular serial key is being installed in one machine if i come down i can see this coral reader studio this CL key has been installed in two different machines. So if I need to check this, I need to click on the manage. When I click on manage, it will show you on which system this particular key is used. So it is showing the system name over here. So if you are doubtful, if you are not sure that this uh, system is not yours, you can simply select this and click on the remove selected machine. So when I click on remove selected machine, it will remove the CL key from that machine. So when I click on it, as you can see, it is disappeared now. It is only installed in Asus ROG. This is my current laptop which I am using right now. And now in this way you can easily remove the duplicacy of your CL key from any other system. And just in case if you are using an annual license, in that case if you want to see how many days are left, you can also see that. So I need to go to back and now as you can see. This is my annual license, 365 days and how many days are left you can see a remaining days over here. So in case of annual license you can also check how many days are left with your license key. If you want to change the password go back again and from here you can change your password. First apply the current one and then apply the new password. In this way you can also change the password. I hope I am able to convey any new information to you. Thank you so much for watching.